Hello students, once again welcome back. I am Professor P M Vibhute. Welcome you to the next session of Basic Electrical and Electronics Engineering. We are discussing about a unit known as a DC circuit, and today we are going to discuss about a topic known as a sum numerical based on the concept of Ohm's law, concept of power, and concept of energy. Now let's discuss it with one simple example. See, this is the example in which we are having a bulb. A bulb. A bulb means we are having one bulb only. Of of 100 watt you can see the unit is given as an 100 watt which definitely it is an power so first thing that we have been given with is an power 100 watt is empowered with empowered with means it has been given a power from a power supply of having an output voltage of 35 volt means second parameter given to us is an output voltage of power supply or input voltage to the lamp and that is nothing but 35 volt right and it is empowered for one hour duration duration given is as a one hour means t is equal to 1 into 60 into 60 this is equal to 0 0 3 6 or 3 6 0 0 seconds correct i converted into si unit so we have been given with a time as a 3 6 0 0 second now what they asked us to calculate they asked us to calculate a current through filament resistance of a filament and energy consumption of a bulb you might be knowing inside a bulb there is a something known as a filament that filament is the one which get a power whenever we give a supply and it generate a light so that's why that filament is the main component they are asking us to calculate a current through flowing through that particular filament resistance of that filament and power consumption of a bulb uh, sorry energy consumption of a bulb now let's see what we have been given so we have been given with a power so we know the formula of power let's write that particular form formula p p is equal to v into i okay do we have a p yes do we have a v yes do we have a i no but this is the i which we wanted to calculate now let's put a values in this particular formula as a hundred is equal to 35 into i now let me put it in a calculator so i'm opening a calculator press control r to our win, uh, windows r to open up uh, the run panel Cal type a command for calculator c a l c now it will open an calculator now what we are going to do we will uh, put a calculation as 100 divided by 35 to calculate a current see 100 divided by 35 so that is equal to 2.857 ampere so if i put it over here the current i in our case i is equal to i is equal to 2.85 ampere 2.85 ampere so we have successfully find out the first parameter and that is nothing but current through the filament current through the filament is almost 2.85 ampere now second they asked us to calculate an resistance again do we have any other formula which which correlate and current voltage and resistance yes and that formula is nothing but ohm's law v is equal to ir so do i know the voltage yes voltage we already know it is 35 volt do i know the current yes we just now calculated it 2.85 ampere do we know the r no r is the one that we need to calculate so finally we can put this particular values in a uh, calculator and let's see how it can calculate so 35 divided by 2.85 again i am opening a calculator 35 divided by 2.85 Correct? So that is how we calculated a uh, resistance of that particular filament as 12.28. So we calculated a resistance as 12.28 and unit of a resistance is ohm. So that is how we calculated a second parameter from our uh, uh, require list of the requirement and that is nothing but a resistor. The third parameter they asked us to calculate is an energy. So what is the formula of E? There is a direct relation between energy and power that is nothing but E is equal to P into T. Do I know the power consumption? Yes, we already know it is an 100 watt into time. Do we know the time? That, that time is nothing but 3600. We already converted it into uh, SI unit that is nothing but a second. So that's why it comes up to be 360 kilo joule. You can see that it will be equal to 360000. So I converted this top 30 into 10 raised to 3 and 10 raised to 3 is equal to kilo. So that is nothing but energy consumption of this particular uh, we can say lamp or bulb will be 360 kilo joule so that is how we calculated all the parameter expected in this particular numerical in next session we will discuss about different type of a network terminologies and component related to electrical engineering till then please be safe and enjoy this session thank you